The YouTube Studio app told me that 97% of people watching this channel are not subscribed. But that's really not that important. Here's how I created this animation all from a screenshot and within DaVinci Resolve. First, I took a screenshot of my stats. Then I put it into the timeline and then opened it in Fusion. Now first things first, I don't need these black borders, so I can use a polygon mask to cut it out. Then we need to get rid of this almost full bar. To do that, I'll simply copy the image, which is the media in node, and draw a polygon mask around this bar. And with the transform node, I'll just place it on top of the other one. Then I'll get rid of these percentages, I'll just add a background node, resize it, and with the picker, I'll select the color from the photo itself. I'll do this to both. Then for this lower one, I'll add a text and I'll set it to 3%. I'll tell you why later on. Now the fun part. We need to create a animatable line. Add a B spline. Let's rename it to simply line. Then draw two dots where the progress bar starts and ends. Add a merge and then connect the line node to it. Increase the border length to fix the progress bar and zoom in to fix the smaller detail. Now add a background node again, this time in between the line and merge node. And with the color picker again, copy the color directly from the screenshot. And now the very fun part. Right click on line over here and add a new control. This will make a new control in the inspector. Here we can choose a name for it, I'll leave it like this. We can set a new type, we can choose in which page it will be seen and usable. We can choose to be either a slide control or a screw control. I'll use a slider and then let's not forget to set the range, it will be from 0 to 100. And now with the line node selected, go to the inspector and right click on length and choose expressions. And now write line dot new control slash hundred. This is crucial as this will link the length property to the new control. Now add a text effect after that. Right click on the text box and again choose expressions. Here write the same expression but put it in brackets. Then add two dots and in quotation marks write a percentage sign. This simply means that the text within the text box will be whatever the new control number is with a percentage sign at the end. Now make your animation by setting two keyframes on our new control property. And now remember that I told you that we will put 3% on the lower one because if you leave it with the numbers after the decibel, it doesn't look good. So we'll get rid of these by simply adding floor right at the beginning of the expression. Now we only see the full numbers. Then with a transform node, resize and place it at the right place. Everything looks great with the exception of that the animation is too linear. Go to spline, check the line, new control, fit to size, select all and press F on the keyboard. I like to make it go in faster and end smoother. Bonus tip, you can add motion blur to the line node if you much desire. And now to animate all of this to go from one side of the screen to the other, you need to use the 3D nodes. To learn more, click right here.